G'day guys, James here from Mandra Outboards. We're down in beautiful sunny Mandra today and we're going to show you through the 7 metre Southerner hardtop from Yellowfin Plate Boats. The Southerners come in a 7 metre length and also a 7.6 metre length. Now all of the Southerners have a strong 6 mil bottom sheet and a strong 4 mil side sheet, thicker than the Berlin Wall. All Yellowfin Southerners come packaged up on a beautiful aluminium I-beam trailer. The 7 metre and the 7.6 metre come standard from the factory with Alco IQ7 electric over hydraulic brakes, a catch and release system, and which makes for a beautiful drive on trailer. The black mags are quite nice, LED trailer lights, and it just makes towing the southerners an absolute dream. Ultimately, the southerner is gonna suit the offshore fishermen. A large amount of deck space, and a lot of protection as well from poor weather conditions if you happen to come across them. But we'll jump in the boat in a minute, and I'll just show you why you can't have yourself and the family staying overnight on a southerner as well. So Mandra Outboards has packaged your 7 metre southerner hardtop up with a Mercury 3.4 litre, 200 horsepower V6 EFI four stroke. These motors have been in the market for two years now and are by far the most quietest, most responsive four stroke out there on the market. It only weighs 216 kilos. We've packaged it up with hydraulic steering and digital throttle and shift, the fly by wire controls for Mercury, which I'll show you a little bit later on. Now also at the transom of the boat, non-return scupper valves. So again, in a minute I'll show you uh, our fully sealed floor and the fact that the water can drain out of the boat but it can't come back in through our non-return scupper valves. Standard on the Yellowfin uh, Southerners is a beautiful three-step dive ladder, a nice strong transom access door, which then provides us access to our battery isolator switch. So if I'm outside of the boat like I am now and I need to turn the motor up and down or turn the batteries on and off for whatever reason it may be, I've got access, nice and easy access to my battery isolation switch. Also a standard on the 7 metre southerners, zip wake trim tabs. Now this takes driving the southerners to a whole new experience. Automatic trim tab system. So if you are a little bit of a novice and you're getting into a, a big plate boat for the first time or any sort of boat for the first time, being able to uh, set the zip wake trim tabs into their automatic function, which I'll show you a little bit uh, later on today, makes driving this just so, so, so easy. It does have manual override, uh, so you can override the automatic system, but otherwise these, these zip wakes will just change the way you drive your boat. Okay, so now we're up top in the seven meter southerner hardtop. I'm about 5'10", 5'11", 180 centimeters, and plenty of headroom for me. Not a factory standard is the roller door here. But why wouldn't you? If you've got expensive fishing gear or just, ex or just valuables in general, that's lockable and it creates a privacy enclosure as well. Underneath the front bunks, plenty of storage for safety gear and other sorts of equipment. Yellowfin can provide us what we call a bunk infill cushion, so that'll turn that into that'll turn that uh, forward cabin into pretty much a double bed. We can also get from the factory as well is a proper uh, flushable toilet, a proper pump out toilet, not a cheap portable toilet, not that porta potties like you see in a caravan, a proper pump out toilet, which makes uh, doing overnighters in the seven metre southerner a bit of a pleasure. Okay, let's work our way across now. Our Mercury Vessel View 503 screen, which is where we're seeing all of our Mercury engine data. We're seeing our revs, our speed, our fuel capacities, our fuel flows, volts, engine hours, all our engine data coming through here. It's also just a general engine management system. If for some reason we're overheating, for some reason we're low on oil, for some reason there's an engine alarm, it's giving us all that data, or all those error codes and messages through the Vessel View 503 screen. The Vessel View screens can come as small as four inch and work their way up to nine inch. We can also put our engine data through the Simrad screen here. We, on this occasion, we've decided not to, but you can do. This is a Simrad NSS12 Evo 3 GPS standard combination. Right now, we've got a 600 watt transfer mount total scan transducer on the back. That'll suit a lot of fishermen. Alternatively, you can fit any sort of one or two kilowatt transducer that you'd please. It can be a through hull or transfer mount on the southerners. VHF radio, and this is our zip wake trim tab controller which I was talking to you a little about, uh, a bit earlier about. As I said earlier, automatic function and manual override. When we go out in the boat today, we'll just show you the difference in how you can control the zip wake trim tabs, but as a general rule of thumb, they're making driving these bigger boats uh, just an absolute pleasure. Fly-by-wire controls from Mercury. That is as stiff and as much resistance you'll get out of the DDS fly-by-wire controls from Mercury. That packaged up with hydraulic steering and your zip weight trim tabs, I really don't know how much easier we can make it. 
So windscreen wiper on our driver's side, nice tough windscreen. And then if we do want to get some air through, we do have our windows that slide back on the starboard and both the port sides as well. Okay. So really nice, what, what I'd probably call our skipper's chair, some yellow fin, nice and comfortable. They spin 360, they're also on seat slides so they can move backwards and forwards to, seat, to suit you whether you're taller or shorter. Storage behind both seats as well, for, for whatever that, that may be. If you do decide to run a electric trolling motor on the front of the boat, which you can have on the Southern Aha tops and pretty much any boat in the uh, Yellowfin range, we mount a, a, bow, th a bow mount thruster uh, plate at the front, and then generally we'll keep, whether you've got a 12 or a 20 volt, 24 volt uh, battery system requirement under one of these seats here, okay? As we work our way back, fuel filler, 320 litre fuel capacity in the southern, uh, in the uh, 7000 southern hardtop. Six rod holders, stainless steel either side. So we've got three, uh, three on the port, three on the starboard, and sinker cups as well, which can also double as drink holders. Now, the floor under us is fully welded and fully sealed. It's a true sealed floor. Water can come over the side of the boat if you've got a freak wave or whatever it may be, and it will then drain straight out the back. This is fully sealed. Uh, our, our, our fuel tank, whilst we still, still do have access to it, is fully sealed as well. This is fully, si fully siliconed and screwed down, but if maintenance is required on the fuel tank, we can pull this up, okay? This is a true sealed floor. And as I said earlier, six mil bottom sheet, four mil side sheet. Like all the boats in the Elephant range, a nice, strong, tough bait board, another four rod holders across the back, a couple of drink holders, and plenty of room for storage underneath. For those of you who are interested in fishing with live bait, live bait tank, all plumbed from factory. Our dual battery system and any other pumps that are required are kept behind us here in our dual battery system behind that, in, behind that hatch. If we're doing offshore fishing for the day, more than likely we're gonna have our back seat folded away like so. But if we've got the family and we wanna do, have a bit more seating out, that's easy to pop out like so. And then we've got our nice seat. Okay. Now, something that Mandra Outboards really likes to doing with the seven meter southern hardtops is adding a extra hand wash over the side of the boat. So I have a little switch underneath the gunnel here. And when I flick that switch on, it uses the same pump as a saltwater deck wash. And salt water will pump out of the top of the side sheet here. And I can actually wash my hands with salt water whilst I'm out there fishing instead of having to find rag all the time or bending over and just about going ass overhead. Okay, so up top. LED light kit, LED lights on port and starboard side, and we can angle those as we please to give us some uh, to give us some light on the uh, on the back deck, and also the real easy rod holders. How good's that, hey? They just pop down like so, which provide our gives us a nice easy access to our rods, and right up the very top is our all-round uh, wide anchor light. Now, as standard from the factory, as I point that light out. All your, all your navigational lighting is standard, so LED navigation lights, all around white light, and also an automatic bilge pump system. Right, so there you have it. I've given you a good overview now of the outside and the inside of the Southern Aha tops. As I said, they're an offshore fishing machine. They've got a great amount of freeboard, like I'm, as I said, about 180 centimeters. I've got plenty of freeboard high up in my thighs to fish overboard. We're now gonna take the boat out in the water, put it through its paces, and we'll just show you how well it goes.
Okay, so there you have it, guys. There's our Yellowfin 7000 Southerner Hardtop. An absolute offshore fishing weapon and an absolute beast in the water. This boat's in stock down here at Mandar Outboard, so please feel free to come and check it out. Uh, Price-wise, around $115,000 boat motor trailer turnkey package. And when we say turnkey package, that includes our 200 horsepower Mercury 3.4 litre DDS V6, 12 inch uh, Zimrad GPS sounder combination, the roller door for your cabin as well, uh, GME VHF radio, your vessel view system, as I said, your, your digital throttle and shift, full line of offshore safety equipment, electric anchor winch, and 12 months boat and trailer rego. So when we say turnkey, we really mean turnkey. For further information, to come and check the boat out, we're located at 53 Gordon Road in Mandra, just off the freeway, 089581 or www.mandraoutboards.com.au. Otherwise, we'll see you out in the water.